hello friends welcome to glint pixel channel today our topic is how to create smart object in photoshop and how to use it first of all we need to know why smart object is important and uh, what are the benefits uh, number one benefit is uh, according to my opinion that uh, uh, image resizing that is regarding to image resizing and uh, second one is uh, the usability of smart object so let's discuss the first one uh, image resizing well I'm going to take uh, uh, an image in Photoshop here is my image I am dropping it in Photoshop here my image but I want to use this image in my project and I copy this image control A control C taking new document new file this is the dimension and if I say it should be 1140 by 1500 ok and I'm going to paste my image here you can see that image is too much big by pressing ctrl T I'm reducing its size to 500 pixel okay it's run for example now if I worked in this document I had created some objects here And I did work uh, some work in this document but later on uh, if I need to increase uh, the size of this image and I increase its size by pressing ctrl D then it will be pixelated you can see it will be pixelated and you can't increase its size now you have to use this dimension but this is the point what I want to discuss uh, with you guys when you paste when you placed your image here it was too much big that time you need to convert this image in, uh, into smart object you can uh, uh, click on this layer layer 1 right click here press convert to smart object and now you can change its dimension now you can reduce its size like this and then later on you created more layers here you typed some text here is your text and at this moment you realize that your image should be bigger now you can increase the size of your image it will not be pixelated anymore because your image is converted into smart object so Keep in mind that whenever you call an image in your document uh, that should be converted into smart object. So now let's talk about the second benefit. If you have created a button icon or shape or header or footer and uh, you are using that particular button on uh, multiple pages and due to some a uh, new requirement you have to change that button's color font or size then you have to open each page and uh, you will make changes in all pages uh, which is time taking and uh, irritating so to avoid this problem we should convert uh, over that particular design in smart object and uh, when 
we will change in one button or design it will be updated in all pages automatically so let's learn how to do it here I have a new document in Photoshop and uh, I'm uh, going to create a kind of a header for example For example, here uh, I have a logo name. Uh, let me update its name, font size, and font family. It should be Roboto. Here it should be bold. Um, its font size should be thirty eight forty five. Okay. Now I'm going to, going to create a navigation, for example, here is my rectangle box, its color is uh, this blue and uh, its radius set to 6 and I'm going to type its name home navigation home button okay it should be 20 it should be aligned actually I am creating this uh, to how to uh, make uh, the usability of your objects in in a project I'm taking its duplicate have increased this document width okay well you can say it is our header and let me save this file I say save I'm going to save it here name is page one save now let's pause I have uh, 10 20 or uh, more than 20 pages in my project I'm going to design and uh, this navigation is going to use in all pages so I need to convert this navigation first of all uh, let's set uh, their names properly home about sir this is sitemap and contact make them center land okay select them all and 
vertical align well select all of them which we need to convert into smart object you can see all layers are selected right click on anyone all should be selected convert to smart object now you can see all layers are uh, moved into one this is context we can rename it to navigation okay now actually we need to save this navigation somewhere okay let's do double click on this icon okay so here we have a, a navigation with all layers you can see here all layers I'm going to save my this file as a smart object save as I'm going to save it here with name navigation you can see its uh, extension is dot PSB and save it now you can close it control W you can see here one layer and now I'm going to take duplicate of this page this page is seven I'm going to it as save as page two now page three I need multiple copies of this page three four and five you know that and now I have uh, five copies of this page and uh, all have same content now I want to tell you about my current topic how to increase uh, the usability while choosing smart object now for example the clients requirement is all of these buttons background should be uh, orange so to complete the requirement you have to open all five pages or ten pages or hundred pages and then you will change uh, each button one by one so if you are using a uh, smart object technology then you can do it uh, in one go let's open our that smart object file this one navigation.psp open it now just make change in this particular file and all of uh, other five pages page 1 to page 5 will be updated automatically I'm going to change color of these buttons background blue to orange now we have updated uh, background color in our dot psb uh, file navigation dot psb that is our smart object uh, file now we just need to replace our content in uh, page one to page five save it now open your all five pages page one and replace content like this now open your page 2 3 4 and 5 you can see that you don't need to change one by one just replace content navigation page 2 replace content navigation
Station. Page 5, page 1, page 2, page 3. And page four. So, like this, you can update your files by replacing with smart object. Same trick you can use, for example, I had used only this navigation. You can use module approach in your website. For example, you can save your header, your footer, uh, slider, banner, and some other uh, content areas of your website in different parts, and you can recall them again and again in uh, on different moments. So I think uh, if you have uh, multiple pages in your website, so you don't need to change all of them one by one each and everything. You can just uh, uh, call new um, smart object header, smart object footer or banner and uh, you can use them again and again. Uh, so this is a very good approach of smart objects. Uh, people are using this approach in their projects. Uh, and uh, this is very uh, time saving approach so if you have uh, liked uh, this uh, smart object approach and uh, uh, its uh, reusability especially and the image resizing uh, that is uh, very much time saving please subscribe my channel and uh, like my videos and you can ask anything in comment box i, I will reply to you uh, thank you very much so i'll be creating uh, more and new videos for you guys uh, for beginners and for professional uh, please keep watching my channel and subscribe it thank you very much bye